What's up guys, it's your boy Eric Lee and I'm coming at you with another review. Uh, and plus, I have something special for you. I have an intern. I have somebody to help me make all this content. Uh, her name's Sierra, she's gonna be in the next little clip. You can see her, whatever, and she's gonna help me review this package uh, from Babish. I'll leave that. If, well, if you've seen the description, you already know what's in it. It's a knife. Uh, yeah, so come on in, Sierra. All right, I think it's, let's see. <laughs> What are those things that people say, like, um, a big white cat something lovely? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? This is Sierra with 31 <laughs> This is Sierra with 31 and Counting, and, um, today we're gonna be reviewing this, uh, Paper Mate Flare Medium uh, pen. No, not that, the other thing. Oh, what's this intro? This is, um, Baking with Babiche. And uh, we have this beautiful knife, and we're going to be doing this lovely unboxing video. As you can see, it has the Babiche logo, and if you turn it around, it has a, a nice little photograph of him. This is a stainless steel chef knife, 8 inches, or 20.3 centimeters. When you open it up, it looks like this. Can you see that? Can you see that, guys? <laughs> and Back to the I don't know! Like, you would think that there'd be some sort of script or like a teleprompter. We got the fancy lights, we got the fancy camera and the mic, but we are not prepared. <laughs> I have zero, zero direction for this. Wow, so that did not go as uh, according to plan. Uh, yeah, I kind of dropped the ball on that. But uh, we can do all the random stuff that I like to do and just talk. Okay, so we're gonna unbox this uh, overhead shot. All right, so here we are. Let's unbox it. So, this is literally like the 20th shot I've made at this because the girls keep crying, but okay, we're finally opening the package. Okay, it looks pretty clean, really nice. You can see his face on it. The chef knife says right there, stainless steel, eight inch. All right, so, and get her cracked open. Okay, Do that right there. Ah, look at that pretty knife. So, it's just an 8 inch knife, pretty solid in size, Let's see what it feels like. I'm sort of a chef myself. <laughs> Alright, so it has a little weight on it, I don't know if it's balanced or not, that's not balanced. Okay, maybe it's balanced, I don't know it. No, it's, it's a lot more weight in the handle, I have big hands, but this feels very comfortable in it. All right, so that's pretty much all you get. It's one knife. Go back up top. All right, back to the bottom. Okay, so this is Babish 8-inch chef knife. Uh, some of the things that I probably could have showed you on camera, or maybe I did, uh, is if you can see the back, if you can focus on that. It's his head, uh, and the side just says Babish, and then it says German 1.4116 steel on this side it's very shiny uh i'm gonna show you a few things that i'm gonna cut using this to see how sharp it is and just pretty much see if it's worth uh the amount of money that you're paying which is fairly inexpensive for a knife that feels like this kind of quality so we're gonna have a few shots in the kitchen and then i'll tell you what i think about this knife and if you should buy it all right let's go all right guys so uh quick little things i know all these are pretty random but i I know I wanted to cut a tomato. I didn't have the big ones. I'm not going to the store for this. I got what I got. I have steak, I have a cucumber, I had some potatoes, but I cut them off camera with the wrong freaking knife. And this is, okay, this is what you get. So we're gonna start off by cutting the cucumber. So I'm gonna just cut real, okay, that was really, that was too quick. Okay, this is a really good cut. I'm kind of happy. Uh, I'm gonna cut it, try to cut real thin slice. I could probably cut thinner than that, but 
This you is how can. I like my cucumbers. And we're going to do one just real quick. Look at that. No resistance at all. This is a good knife. Try the steak now. Uh, no, I'm going to cut the tomato. Okay, so the <laughs> tomato, we're going to try to cut it really, really. Oh. I can cut this in slices normally. So when you have a knife that's not sharp, what you end up doing is you just end up smushing the... I don't, hopefully I don't cut myself. But you end up just smushing. But look at that. No resistance. Just cut right through it really easily. That's almost paper thin. It's I'm not a thin. chef. But it's pretty dang on thin. If I had a bigger tomato, you'd get a better result. Uh, so now we're going to move right on to the steak. Just going to cut me... See now, don't judge me because this is how I like my steaks to look. I'm trying to cut really nice thin pieces so you can see. Like there's almost no resistance from this knife. And if you see all these juices, I should have let it rest a little longer. But I'm going to cut what regular size. Okay, so this is probably... Oh, it's perfect, Key. This is probably the best knife that I've ever owned. Hands down. And it's very affordable. And it's really, really sharp. So, it's a win. 10 out of 10, recommend. Uh, guys, if you like this video, matter of fact, we're just going to go back to the other room and I'll end it there. See you later. All right, as you've seen with all the slicing, the dicing, and the cutting, uh, I think this knife is an awesome buy. Uh, it was very cheap. I'm going to put the price up or down below. It don't matter. You're going to see the price in this video. Uh, it was very inexpensive and it makes for a good gift if you know someone who really cooks a lot of food for you or it's just summertime and people are getting into cooking. Don't buy that stuff from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. It's going to be bad and rusty in a few weeks. Trust me, I've bought it. Uh, <laughs> or after a dishwasher or whatever, if you don't dry it off properly, it started rusting. Get something that's higher quality. This is high quality. And uh, it's by somebody you get to watch on YouTube. And I always like supporting my YouTubers. But that's going to be all for this video. Uh, just another claimer. The Sierra, that's one of my best friends. Uh, she is not an intern. She wants to be. We might do videos together. So if you like it, you know, and you think it's a good idea, put it down below. I really appreciate you guys. Take the time right now to like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm talking really fast because I'm in a hurry. All right, guys. I love you. Bye-bye.